people. Hello, Libra. Welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and we are here doing your uh, June 2021 new love reading for all of you singles out there. Um, so just a reminder to all of you, this is a general and intuitive reading. There'll be a lot of different messages. Whoops. A lot of different messages that come out and they won't necessarily apply to everybody. Just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I'm truly grateful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, and your fabulous energy. So let's get right into this. So messages for Libra. I'm going to start with your overall energy for your reading. This is Tarot of the Heart, Major Arcana, specifically created for love and romance. It's a wonderful energy that comes out with these cards. All right. So first off... Working in your favor, we've got the High Priest. This is beautiful energy. That's Taurus. All right. What is challenging you? We've got the Chariot. So that's Cancerian energy and your beautiful, wonderful overall outcome here. We have the Moon and that is Pisces energy there. That is absolutely uh, working for you. So let's start with the high priest. So Taurus energy first and foremost. All right. But this is all about, um, tradition. It's all about commitment, um, committed to higher learning. This is known in this deck as the divine marriage card. All right. So some of you may have been doing some, um, spiritual growth. All right. Some personal growth, uh, doing some healing and, uh, getting rid of, um, anything like clearing out the cobwebs, right? Getting yourself prepared for finding a new love. And this is all about togetherness, spiritual development. So you may have actually joined a group of people or you may just have this uh, sense that there's uh, more powerful forces at work. You just feel as though you might be very, very much connected to your higher self and also the universe at this time. Now, this particular card in this deck also um, brings out a possibility of meeting an older person. All right, someone who is older than you, uh, not necessarily in age, but um, perhaps in uh, life experience, okay? Because I'm not going to say maturity either because it's not quite the right word. Life experience, okay? Um, but somebody who uh, can either teach you something about yourself and love, about what you want, okay? Or this is somebody that um, is very commitment-minded and, um, you know, is uh, has very traditional values in regards to love. And it feels that though they may come in to open you up, um, to open up you, sorry, open your heart. Thank you very much. Open your heart a little bit um, to finding love or to new love, or again, just to teach you something there. Now we do have the chariot in your challenge position. All right. Now, yes, it has been something of a battle to get outside, hasn't it? Right. And it depends where you are in this world. Um, when we've got the chariot in reverse, uh, for one, you may be feeling stuck. And it has been a challenge. And certain countries, I mean, we are still in difficult energy in the world, right? Um, certain countries uh, are slowly starting to open up, okay? And you, you're experiencing a little bit more freedom, more ability to uh, travel. Okay, you may have been feeling restricted, um, you know, in traveling as well, especially if you've got a sense of adventure. The chariot can sometimes be a travel card. Um, you know, but it just feels like you've kind of been stuck in one place as though there's no forward momentum, as though there's no opportunities out there. I'm stuck and in lockdown that, you know, places are closed. Uh, you may have been, um, you may have, uh, needed to be a little bit inventive, but even if, depending where you are, even if you could do online dating, you may have still been restricted about getting together with other people and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So it's just a general overall energy of feeling stuck. All right. And that's certainly been a challenge uh, for you to move forward. Now, also with the chariot in your challenge position here, you could be dealing with someone that is a cancer. OK, or you uh, may know somebody and you might not have gotten together with them yet. OK, and there's um, some significant delays um, with the chariot energy here. OK, but you're working past them. You're working forward. You're um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, now, with the chariot two being in your uh, in your challenge position, there could also be um, there's also an energy here um, of throwing caution to the wind a little bit. Okay, of some reckless abandon, some reckless behavior from somebody there. Okay, um, things not being quite in alignment. Okay, uh, there's a little bit of impatience uh, that comes with this, and it feels as though you may be uh, trying to work through those feelings, okay? Because um, it is a little bit of a challenge, right? So um, so 
uh, whatever that whatever that means for you a few different a few different kind of energies that is with that one all right but overall we have the moon that's coming out here so um, I'm feeling in this um, the moon cycles are gonna be very beneficial for you in finding new love and you know moons the moon energy means it's Pisces energy okay because there could be a Pisces coming in for you um, but when we have the full moon, okay, full moon, new moon, the moon cycles, right? If any of you have been doing any manifestation, okay, especially if you're, uh, if you've got that spiritual connection going on, right, you've been really putting yourself out there. And if you've been doing like moon manifestations, right, your uh, new moon, your full moon, I'm feeling that the moon phases in June are going to be very important for you. Um, we have a solar eclipse on June 10th. So really powerful energy with that one. That's a lot of energy when that sun, uh, when that sun is there, but there's also, um, we have a new moon uh, in the middle of June. I don't have anything in front of me. I don't remember the exact date. I apologize. Um, and then the full moon at the end of June as well. So if you're doing any kind of, uh, manifestation work, um, June is going to be very important for you, okay, to call something in. Uh, the moon also gives you the ability to dive deep, okay, and to bring things to the surface that have been hidden within you, all right, facing the truth, knowing what you want, um, facing your fears, doing it anyway, right, just gives you, um, you know, give you gives you some really positive uh, energy to uh, get going, okay, so some of you might actually be a little bit of a, a little bit afraid, um, at the moment and it's not an uncommon energy all right and um, there's a lot of people in that in that situation we haven't we've had a lack of human contact for the last year almost a year and a half now and we've had that lack of human contact and there's a lot of people out there right now that um, you know it's like things might be starting to open up but now we've been secluded for so long or you haven't been allowed to hug people or go outside of your bubble or whatever you happen to be in wherever you are and there's a little bit of hesitation there's a little bit of fear of um, getting outside of meeting other people of you know all this kind of stuff it's been really really heavy difficult energy that we've been in for quite a long time now and it's almost become our new normal and so now things are starting to change a little bit and you know there is a little bit of fear um, you know of of getting out and you know it's like uh, am I really allowed outside now and you know or or you know and especially if you're in anywhere where now you don't have mask restrictions or anything like that it really weird right and so there just might be something um, you know spirits really encouraging you in this energy um, spirits really encouraging you to face your fear and do it anyway get yourself outside and if you feel the need to take some extra precautions, by all means, do that, okay? But now is the time to put yourself out there. Know what you want, all right? Know who you are, and then just take some forward steps there, all right? Not, not in a reckless way, okay, with that chariot, but, you know, uh, try and put yourself out there in a uh, healthy, positive way. All right, so let's see what else we've got coming out for you. Oh, sorry, itchy nose. Mess wow, okay. Uh, messages for Libra. Let me just grab this one. Okay. I just threw your gift away. All right. So we've got gifts. All right. So there is uh, some, this is always a wonderful surprise when we get the gifts card. Okay. So someone may be giving you a gift. Okay. Someone spirit may be sending you someone as a gift. All right. There is a spiritual, um, uh, a spiritual gift here for some of you. You may have tapped into your spiritual gifts, right? There may be someone associated with this high priest energy there that's helping you to connect, be connected with the universe, okay? So you may have unboxed that wonderful gift while you've been in lockdown. You may have been working on that, all right? But there's also uh, some sort of surprise, something that is guided towards you when we get the gift card, all right? And what is this? We've got mature woman and that's coming here. And so for some of you, this can represent a new person, a new love interest coming into your life. And, uh, you know, someone who, when we get mature woman out of this deck, it doesn't mean someone old necessarily. Okay. Maturity has nothing to do with age and it could just be somebody that has a very mature outlook on love, on relationships, on commitment, romance. Okay. Someone who just, um, has that, uh, stability and maturity about them, right? They could be of any age, 
All right. Um, so that's either a new love interest for you, or it could be a friend that plays a very significant role in your love life. Okay. And with the mature woman coming out right beside gifts, maybe this uh, woman here, maybe this person, friend, coworker, family member, someone in your environment may actually um, have the perfect match for you. Okay. They're bringing you a gift, right? It's like, um, you know, it might be like a blind date or a <laughs> accidental meeting somewhere, right? Which probably isn't an accident at all. Okay. But it's like, they're, it's like they, they may have a magical connection for you. Okay. So if you have a friend that wants to set you up on a blind date, and, you know, I mean, blind dates, I mean, we all have blind date stories, right? We all have some horrific ones, some funny ones, a couple of scary ones. And, uh, you know, but also there's people out there that have wonderful ones, magical ones. Um, you know, so if you do have a friend that wants to set you up with somebody, you know what? Moon, feel the fear, do it anyway. Okay, you might not want to, but you know what? Even if it, even if it doesn't work out, even if it doesn't go anywhere, at least it gets you out of your shell. At least it gets you out of your house. All right. So I'm just going to get, thank you. <clears throat> so we also have children coming out here as well. So some of you may have children. All right. And they certainly do play a significant role in your love life. Right. I mean, of course, if you are divorced, you've got kids, uh, your priorities kind of change a little bit. Right. And not only are you looking for somebody that's good for you, you may also be looking for somebody that likes children. For one, that's always that's always positive. OK. Um, and, uh, you know, you just want somebody because they have your love life may affect them as well eventually. Right. So you've got more than one person to think about in this situation. All right. You also may be feeling right here. And this is funny because uh, with short term and children, you may be feeling as though your biological clock is ticking. That's not necessarily what the short term card means. But with it coming out right beside children and mature woman. OK, I'm just feeling as though some of you may, um, you know, you may have may. Or sh Sorry, how do I want to say that? You may be shifting your focus. OK, um, to a more mature relationship because you may feel as though your biological clock is ticking and you may be thinking of starting a family and having children. Okay. So that certainly could, um, you know, be something, uh, that you're thinking about. Right. And like I said, that's not entirely what that short term, um, energy means, but with these coupled together, that's a strong, uh, strong energy that I'm getting out. So I have to say that as well. You could also be meeting somebody, um, new that is coming in that has children as well. All right. Now, some of you as well, you may not be looking for a long-term relationship. All right. You might, um, you know, you might again have been, um, have been locked up for a long time. You haven't had a lot of options. Okay. Maybe you've been focused on your kids, your family, if you have some, and, um, you might not be looking for a long-term relationship and Hey, everyone's at different points in their lives. Right. Um, you know, and, uh, you just might be looking, uh, you might just be looking for something just, um, with no commitments, um, just something to, you know, um, get your mind off things or kickstart, uh, you know, kickstart you getting, getting you out of the house, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So you just might, might not, might not be looking for a long-term, uh, commitment with that. Okay. So, um, let's see what else that we've got for you. So messages for people watching. All right. What else does Libra need to know, please? For new love, please. New love only. New love only. Thank you. All right. So we have, oops, this one's sticking out. And we have healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, some of you may actually have some uh, long ago issues that, um, that have been holding you back. I mean, we do have the moon card. All right, which is about bringing to things to the light, bringing things to the surface. So there may be something, um, you know, there may be something from your past that has blocked you, okay, or that you've needed to work through. It could be like commitment issues. It could be blocks or issues around having a family, around starting a family, okay, um, could be something in there. I'm also drawn right back to that children card as well. Um, if you've gone through a divorce or something, you, you know, of course, you may, um, you may be, um, you know, very sensitive to the needs of your children as you should be. And, you know, it just feels as though you may actually have, 
uh, you may have some issues to work out with them, right? They may not be, they might, you might be ready for a new relationship, but they might not be. And there might be something there that needs to be healed with you and then with you and them. Um, hence that short term, right? You might not be looking for anything to disrupt the, um, the uh, status quo of your household, right? And, and upset your children. You just might be looking for something that is suited for you and nothing with like a deeper level of commitment because your children might not be ready for that, right? So there might be something that you need um, to, uh, to work through with them, with them in that, in that regard. So, all right. So we also have calling in your soulmate. All right. Look at that. There is your gifts. There is your gifts that you're unboxing. All right. Spirit sending you gifts. All right. Spirit sending you something you've called in your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And what did we say earlier? Those moon phases, right? So you may really be doing some law of attraction work, some work with the moon phases. All right. And spirit is uh, telling you there with that gift card that there is something wonderful coming for you, something you've been calling in, something that you've wanted, right? That soulmate connection. And of course, soulmates, we have a lot of soulmates throughout our lives. They're not all necessarily romantic and they're not all meant to be forever, but you know what? They're always here for a purpose, right? For a reason, but um, you know, but with the, with the high priest energy coming out there as well. All right. Uh, this could be something that actually is long-term for some of you. Okay. For some of you, this actually could be something that comes in as the short term, something that you've been looking for. And of course, soulmates again are around for a reason, a season or a lifetime. So it could be something that's coming in there that you are purposely calling in by the way. Okay. Um, and that is just here for a reason or a season right here to, um, help you along your path to crack you open and learn something else, um, about yourself sometimes, right? They always here, um, to benefit us in some way. It doesn't always feel that way though, right? Especially if they're not here for a long time, right? So, but, uh, beautiful energy calling in your soulmate. So whatever it is that you're calling in that you're trying to attract into your life, it's coming. So that's your affirmation that it's coming romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, you know, again, I'm going right back to that high priest energy, not to mention the gifts. And, um, it feels for one that you are opening yourself up to love. You're opening yourself to, to possibilities, right? So don't ignore those feelings that may be bubbling up to the surface. Okay. Um, really, um, you know, really bring them out in the open and address them. Okay. Um, I'm also kind of looking at that chariot card as well. And, you know, there may be somebody um, in your life that you've already met. And, you know, with the chariot there, you may have been in an energy, um, you may have been resisting them, right? Because that is in your challenge position. And, uh, you know, because in this deck, that chariot energy represents uh, passion, okay? A huge amount of chemistry that comes with that. And so it just feels like, you may have been resisting it. Now it might be in a situation like it might be a workplace or something like that, um, you know, where it might not be um, appropriate and you may have been kind of blocking it a little bit, but it may be something, if that's you, it might be something worth exploring. Listen to your intuition for sure, um, just to make sure that that is your situation. And if that is, there might be something there. There might be something worth exploring. Remember that moon energy, feel the fear, do it anyway. And it may just be, you know, um, go out for lunch with them or something and oh yeah hey you know keep it casual or something and you know hey yeah you want to grab a bite to eat or something like that and um you know and see what happens like outside the workplace if that's you know if that's you there okay or it could be someone that you already know in another realm um interesting uh now this will not be for everybody and of course i i, I stay away i for the most part i stay away of x coming back kind of readings only uh, um, if it comes up I address it but I don't purposely do those kind of readings necessarily because a lot of times whatever has caused someone to leave uh, unless they've made some unless both people have made some real strides in who they are chances are uh, the issues that um, you know cause the separation are still exist when people come back right and nobody should really ever wait for anybody but I am getting a bit of an energy there um, that you, at least somebody, may be having um, romantic feelings about someone that they have separated from. Okay, you may have children with this person, um, and hey, it might just be something where you you get back together for a short term or something, or 
you know, maybe there's some closure that's needed, some unfinished business or something, okay, or there, there may be something a little bit more there. Um, you know, one or both of you may have uh, done a lot of work on yourselves and there may be a chance there. It might be worth exploring if that is you. And of course, always trust your intuition because it's not going to speak to everybody there. Um, you know, but it is an energy that is coming out. Okay, so uh, take that as that resonates for you in that situation. We also have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Now, if, again, if, you know, a couple of energies here of attracting someone in. So again, um, you know, if you're doing law of attraction, you're trying to manifest a new person. Um, this is a reminder that what you put out there comes back. Okay. For the, the good that you put out comes back. The positive energy comes back to you. The loving energy comes back. So keep your vibe high, keep your thoughts positive. All right. And um, that is absolutely someone something that you are going to attract back in as well. It's also an energy of uh, spirit reminding you to live in gratitude. All right. And be thankful for where you are and who you are and things that have happened in your life, both good and bad. And when we live in the energy of gratitude, um, you know, we uh, we are thankful uh, to the universe and, you know, we get more of what we're thankful for. We get more of, you know, great things. So, all right, let's pull your tarot and let's see what we've got. This is the Lover's Path Tarot and it's absolutely beautiful deck. So let's see where we go here, messages. All right, so first off, we have Desire. Now, hmm, I have to say, this is Chariot Energy again, okay? So two Chariot Energies coming out, never ignore repeating messages so we'll go a little bit deeper into that we've got the seven of cups and we also have the ten of cups all right and taking strides moving towards your true happiness okay being very grateful for everything in your life and speaking of moving into the next phase of your life we have uh, card number seven desire this is Tristan and Isolde uh, I don't know how I say that. It's something like that. Anyways, this is a beautiful deck and all of the all of the suits and especially the major arcana, they're all represented by, you know, um, real couples, whether they were um, part of folklore or, um, you know, in real life. All right. And so it's just absolutely beautiful imagery and beautiful deck. Anyways, this relates back to the chariot card again. So here's the thing where you have felt stuck get ready to move forward. Okay. Cause this is all about moving forward. And you know, so you're about to move forward into the next phase, the next stage of your life, just as a lot of countries right now are trying to make strides forward to move into the next phase of allowing people a little bit more freedom. Okay. We're starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel. And that is certain representative in this card as well. This also is an energy that you have the desire to move forward. You have the desire to move on from a situation. You're tired of being stuck. You're tired of being stagnant in one place and you are taking bold steps to achieve your desires, to follow your heart's desire and to move forward into the next phase of your life, whatever that may be for you. Now, <clears throat> there is a little bit of a, with all of these, there's always a little bit of a tragic story with these two, but um, I also feel you know, I also feel with uh, the chariot showing up twice, I have to I have to address it just because it's here. Sorry, I jumped a little bit. It was just some, someone banged outside, scared me. Um, it, I do have to address something here because it feels, at least for somebody out there, those romantic feelings, you may have deeper ties to somebody that you've been separated from, okay, and you may be ready to move on to the next phase, but there might be something just calling you back. So there might be some unfinished business there. There might be some closure. Um, you know, or there is that possibility of coming back together, coming back into union. And that, of course, is not going to be for everybody, right? But, um, you know, you may be starting to think about that because the next card up is the Seven of Cups. So you may be starting to have some uh, some feelings coming up to the surface. And you may have thought that you were finished and done, but there just might be some unfinished business that's pulling you, uh, pulling you back together. Um, and you may be a little bit resisting it. Okay. But you might be, that might be preying on your mind. Okay. There may be that energy there. All right. So, um, but certainly we can't ignore the fact that we do have two chariots coming out here and from two different decks as well. Okay. So, um, always pay attention, uh, to sign symbol synchronicities when we're doing these, especially when they're major arcana. So this chariot energy is 
first the chariot energy kept you stuck, okay, and now it's moving you forward, okay, so it's like, ha, take that, all right, take that universe, we're going to move forward, all right, but the seven of cups energy, for one, you've got an open mind, all right, this is an energy of uh, fantasy, imagination, thinking about all the possibilities of new love that you've got on your horizon, also for those, um, you know, um, possibilities of maybe getting back together with somebody there, right? And like I said, I don't usually do those kind of readings just because, nah, um, you know, it's, you know what, move on, right? But it just feels as though there's something pull pulling you back if that is you, okay? So you're starting to think about that. You're starting to um, imagine, okay, what would happen, you know, like, would it work out? Would it not work out? Okay. But for the most part, I feel most of you are just keeping your mind open. You're, um, you're thinking about the opportunities that are out there. You're thinking about getting out. Uh, you may also be doing a little bit of a soul searching there and, um, you know, uh, trying to figure out what, you know, what you want in your next person. And you're certainly, um, you know, it, it just feels as though, you know, when we get the seven of cups for one, yes, it's about fantasy and it's about options. And it can also be though, uh, about being a little bit overwhelmed. Okay. So you may be feeling overwhelmed in your situation. Um, especially, you know, like we already said earlier, especially if your, your, um, your city, your country is starting to open up a little bit. And, you know, we've been kind of stuck for a very long time. And now all of a sudden things are starting to open up. So you just might be a little bit overwhelmed. And you just might be a little bit hesitant to uh, take some action or to get outside or to meet people, right? You might be thinking about it, but you might just be a little bit hesitant of that because what if something else bad happens? Because that can sometimes get us stuck in the Seven of Cups energy is a reluctance to make a decision um, because we're afraid of what might be, what the result might be, right? And because all of these cups, some of them have treasure in them, some of them have, but you know, a couple of one of them has a snake, this one's just hidden, right? So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of, sometimes we can get a little bit paralyzed by uh, fear or stuck in analysis mode a little bit because we're a little bit afraid of something, afraid of making a choice, making a decision, putting ourselves out there, right? Or just, we are just a little bit undecided. So the main message when we get the seven of cups is follow your heart. What does your heart want? Follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. The heart wants what the heart wants sometimes, which isn't always a good thing. All right. But, um, you know, but uh, follow your heart and you will actually never go wrong. Even if something doesn't, even if you, you make good choices and, you know, we'll, we'll kind of go back to that, you know, whoever, whoever that is who may have some unfinished business with an ex, right? Even if you do choose to try and give it, um, you know, a second try, okay, it may work out, it may not, okay, because you may have some deeper ties there, okay, but you know what, no matter what, it is still a good choice for you, even if it doesn't work out, and the only reason is because then, number one, you'll know, it'll give you closure, it'll put you on a different trajectory, right, there might be another lesson there to learn, right, um, you know, and if it does work out, well, wonderful, right? But what, regardless of how it works out, there is something there that, um, that may need to be addressed, right? Or something there, there's a reason, okay? There's a reason for that, right? And there's always a bit of a takeaway, even from a negative situation, okay? So follow your heart, listen your, into your intuition, and you will not go wrong, okay? Always believe in your choices, all right? No matter how they work out for you. And if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, um, you know, about, you know, all of a sudden being allowed to go outside, um, you know what, just take little baby steps, okay? You don't necessarily have to like throw caution to the wind, but you know, try and get yourself out of your shell just a little bit, right? Start, uh, start small and then expand uh, your horizons, okay? Because no matter what choices that you make, the end result is ultimate happiness. Happiness in your choices, peace, contentment, serenity, um, happy family, happy situation. And the 10 of cups is one of the happiest energies in the entire tarot. So, I mean, really, you know, if you look at all these three side by side, take steps to move forward to your destiny, to where you're meant to be. All right. Move forward. Don't stay in one place. 
choose from the heart listen to your heart make a choice okay think about what you want all right and then make the make a decision to move forward and ultimately your outcome is beneficial for you no matter how no matter how it works for you it's a positive always around now for you know and you might be saying well you know if something doesn't work out for me how can it be positive ah but it is because it's always something happening for a reason right so it sometimes you know something sometimes something that's short term all right can actually put you on the path of where you're meant to be or it puts you in a better headspace of knowing what you want and knowing how to achieve your ultimate happiness how to achieve your goals and your dreams all right and if something does work out that also works out wonderfully right we've got a beautiful it looks like a beautiful tree with like cherry blossoms on it and cherry blossoms. I love cherry blossoms. If that's what they are, um, they're kind of like lucky, right? They're good fortune. Okay. They're ones of growth of wonderful, like springtime and bloom, right? So, um, very beautiful, uh, trees. If you're lucky enough to have cherry blossoms where you are. All right. But this just brings you a sense of peace and serenity and of knowing who you are and what you want and where you want to be. Right. So, um, you know, be, firm in your choices. Okay. And don't be afraid to move forward because there is happiness on the other side of that. Um, no matter what, right. And so let's have a look and let's see what, wow, the energy coming towards you. Ooh, a surprise. All right. We've got the princess of cups. Uh, we also have the four of cups and we also have strength there as well. All right. Let me just put that there. Okay. Princess of Cups. Now this is the energy coming towards you. There may be a little bit of a surprise. All right. Princess of Cups relates back to um, the Page of Cups. Okay. And the Page of Cups is really, you know, okay, for one, the, uh, the person coming towards you, they are open for love. Okay. Their heart is open. Um, they are ready for love. It, they may be newly in that headspace, all right, um, uh, because the, the pages, the princess, it is a very youthful uh, kind of energy, all right? Uh, it's one of beginnings, right? So beginning the next phase. So your person is beginning the next phase of their life, but their heart is open. They're ready for love. And, uh, you know, it just, it's like a very fresh uh, kind of peaceful energy. So, um, you know, they've cleaned out their demons. All right. Uh, they've released their baggage and their heart is open. Okay. Now I have to say, um, because the, this, this card tend, does sometimes tend to come with a bit of a surprise. So, you know, you may already know this person. All right. And there may be a little bit of a surprise there because uh, they may have had their eye on you for a while. Okay. They may have just been as stuck as you have been. Um, and you know, there may, but there may be some feelings there. All right. Now you might, this might be part of someone from your social circle. <laughs> this could be part of a friend bringing you a gift. All right. Here's your gift. Happy surprise. All right. Um, you know, it could be that kind of situation. You might know this person like from your workplace, your social circle, something along those lines. Okay. Um, and you know, but it just feels as though they may have had their eye on you as well. Okay. So, um, there is a little bit of a surprise there. All right. You might not be expecting it from this person either. Now I do also have to address a oh God, this keep, this energy keeps coming up. Okay. So someone out there is in this situation. Um, this, you know, if you're in separation from somebody, uh, this, this chariot energy, they may very well be a Cancerian. Okay. Or have that in their chart, but they don't necessarily have to be, but this person that, um, you know, you have been separated from, and it feels you, you may have been separated for a while. All right. It doesn't feel like new energy. Like it's not like you just broke up a week ago and now you're like, you know, uh, thinking of getting back together. It feels like something a little bit longer than that, uh, to me. Um, but there's been a lot of changes that have happened to people throughout the pandemic. Right. And, uh, sometimes people realize what is really, um, uh, what is really, um, positive in the world. Okay. What is really meaningful? It's not money. It's not fame. It's not celebrity, right? It's family, friends, stability, health, right? Um, happiness, all of those things. And so it just feels as though this person, if you're in separation, um, they may have just, they may have matured a little bit. Okay. Or they just may have changed a little bit through the pandemic. And it just feels as though they may be coming back 
um, in, in that situation. If that is you, they may be uh, coming back. Um, and we have a Four of Cups right beside it. Now, the Four of Cups is not the return card, okay? But um, the Four of Cups does sometimes come with a little bit of a surprise, like just as about just as just as someone's about to give give up, all right? And an opportunity presents itself. So it could be it could be that they were about to give up, and you know they've opened themselves up, and uh, they may just kind of surprise you a little bit um, with that, okay? So um, you know that's if that's you. All right, if that's you, their heart is open. Um, they're open to the possibilities and it feels in that Seven of Cups. You may also um, be open to that possibility as well, okay, if that speaks to you. And of course, it won't speak to everybody, right? That's not really for the collective. That's probably just for um, just a couple of people out there, but it is a prevailing energy. It keeps coming up, so I do have to address what's there. I have to honor, um, honor and respect the messages that are coming out of the cards, otherwise we... You know, I have a great relationship with my cards. They're all my babies. So <laughs> tools of my trade. All right. I've had them for quite a while. So anyway, but if that's you, then uh, there is certainly a possibility there. And part of the reason is that we have strength coming out. So it just feels as though you've got a strong bond with this person. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's something that you just can't quite ignore there. All right, anyways, but for those of you who have new love coming in, there is someone coming in who uh, their heart is open, they're ready. They may be a little bit bored themselves, okay, because we do have the Four of Cups coming here. Um, the Four of Cups can be one of a little bit of boredom, discontentment, you know, dissatisfaction in their current circumstances, okay, kind of very much like that that chariot is the challenge energy okay so it's like yeah i'm open i'm ready for love but oh my god can we move forward already okay when am i going to be able to get out there when am i going to be able to meet somebody okay and it just feels as though now uh, you're both kind of like in a little bit of that space because you may also be uh in that kind of energy and a little bit impatient okay and trying to keep trying to keep the faith trying to stay positive Okay, but just kind of a little bit fed up with the roadblocks and obstacles that uh, have been presented to you in the last year and a half, right? And so you're just kind of like itching to get, itching to move forward, um, itching to uh, get going. Okay, but this person, now they could be Leo, have Leo in their chart possibly because we do have the strength card. All right, um, but they are somebody who is very patient. All right, they're willing to take their time. Um, they are somebody who is looking for a very strong connection, someone who is, um, you know, very trustworthy when we get the strength card. Okay. Um, somebody who has a lot of compassion. Okay. Their heart is open. They've got a lot of compassion. They're willing to form a deep bond. Okay. With whoever it is that they choose to be in partnership with. And again, we already have that high priest coming out, which is, um, you know, which is a, um, uh, an energy of commitment is the marriage card, right? So, um, it is somebody who is, who wants to form a very deep bond, a deep connection, right? And, um, you know, they're, they're not messing around in this energy, right? Because they may actually have the same goals as you, right? You know, um, and, uh, you know, they're just not going to, um, they're not going to take anything for granted. Okay. There's someone who's very calm, very kind, very patient, uh, in this energy, right? But they are um, certainly strong in their convictions. They know who they are, okay? And they know what they want, all right? So let's see what else we've got for you. What else do we need to know for Libra, please? Thank you. All right, and we've got the Seven of Wands. We have the Prince of Arrows. That's Cupid, by the way. And we have the Six of Coins. All right, so uh, some unexpected events that may be happening here. All right, first of all, um, you know, first of all, I do need to, I do need to say, I'll just get this out of the way, okay, for those per people who may possibly be getting back together with somebody here, okay, it just feels as though it's, um, you know, if you welcome this person back or if they welcome you back, if you get back together with the seven of staves there, um, there may be, um, 
uh, a line in the sand that needs to be drawn, it's like, okay, uh, there's a little bit of rules that come around with that, okay? Some stipulations, right? Making sure you're on the same page. There may still be a couple of obstacles to get out of the way, okay? Um, but, you know, you may have been shot with the arrow of Cupid there because we do have the Prince of Arrows, which is the Knight of um, the Knight of Swords. And that Knight of Swords is really one about being determined and taking action um, and of communication, lots of communication there as well. Um, the Six of Coins is about reciprocal give and take, all right? Um, putting in as much as you get out, it can also be um, uh, and, and something that is unexpected, a little bit out of the blue. Okay, so, um, you know, so there is a certain possibility um, that that union with this person would actually be um, very successful. Okay, a lot of happiness there, a very strong connection, and then a very reciprocal give and take. Okay, no one um, a balanced energy with that six of coins. Um, you know, both people contributing equally with an equal investment in the relationship. Okay, so that outcome there, if that is you, um, feels like it would actually be really quite positive. Okay, now for those of you who are not um, getting back together with anybody, the Seven of Staves, this is the Seven of Wands energy. All right, this is knowing who you are and what you want, right? You're not going to um, compromise. You're not going to um, lose your sense of self or who you are and what you want. It's about standing up for yourself, your convictions, your belief. All right. And, um, you know, kind of um, a little bit of drawing a line in the, in the sands, right? In the sand. And, you know, it's, it's not one like that's like really negative or anything like that, but it's just like, okay, um, I have a new person. Um, that's fine, but this is who I am. And, you can take it or you can leave it, all right? But, um, you know, I've been through some ups and downs and I know what I want. And I'm not going to let anyone compromise my belief systems, right? And of course, um, of course, I'm sure the words would come out a little bit more, than, a little bit um, better than that, okay? But this is also one of overcoming obstacles, delays, right? Overcoming uh, some, you know, some demons, right? And we do have like a dragon here, all right? And um, he's a little bit of a defense stance there, all right? And, you know, if you want to take that dragon as being um, the universal delays that we've had, it's like, nope, no more, no more. I'm going outside now. I'm going to go meet people now. Okay. That seven of staves is also about being at your personal best. Okay. And you know, it's just like, it feels very much like, um, you know what you want. Okay. And you know, you, uh, you're not going to compromise, um, for anyone or anything. And it's one of like, you're not going to lose yourself in a relationship. Okay. And you know, but as far as like a connection with a new person goes, um, it just, uh, you know, it just feels like, um, it's actually, it would actually be a very strong connection. Okay. With this person, um, you would be able to overcome, um, obstacles, delays, barriers. All right. And, um, because it feels like both of you, um, both of you may have gone through a lot of ups and downs, right? So, uh, it's kind of like, <laughs> It's actually almost an, an almost an energy of having an initial conversation of let's just get everything out in the open right now. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want out of a relationship. This is what I see for my future. Do you feel the same way? Yes? Great. Let's move forward. All right, it's kind of got that kind of energy going on about it because we do have a Prince of Arrows here as well. And this is the Knight of Swords energy, Cupid. All right, in this deck, it's represented by Cupid, Cupid's arrow, shot with love. All right, so it's like a, it's like a, a you know, a shot in the heart, right? So, um, you know, it's a beautiful energy, really, but it's one of moving forward. Lots of communication, positive communication, positive messages, and, um, you know, it's about um, kind of uh, being on the same page, but also being determined. And this certainly is something um, is about taking action. Okay, so it's um, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, both of you would be uh, having a lot of discussions, uh, talking about what you want, where you want to go, what you want to move forward, maybe even putting up some boundaries. Um, and I'm only saying that for uh, really specifically back to whoever you are that might meet someone through your workplace or something. It almost feels as though in the seven of staves that you would be having a lot of discussions um, about um, how you present yourself uh, to the outside world. Like, um, 
uh, like, I don't, you know, I don't want this getting around the office or, you know, your workplace or something like that. Um, so it just might be one of, uh, putting up a couple of boundaries, like a little bit of a safety boundary, a little bit there. Um, and of course that's not going to speak to everybody, but, um, if that's you, then you might be doing that, um, for that, but certainly a lot of positive communication that comes with that Prince of Arrows. I mean, you shot and shot in the heart, right? It's like, yeah, you, win. once you're shot by Cupid's arrow, there's really no escaping it. Okay. But the outcome really on honestly, um, with you and this person, this is really a nice union. Okay. And you know, it's, um, the six of coins is an energy of, um, reciprocal give and take, right? The law of giving and receiving, um, each, each person putting in the, an equal amount of time, effort, and dedication into the relationship, right? It's not one-sided. Okay. Um, and it feels as though part of, part of the reason is probably because you're both laying your cards out on the table, right? And it's like, Hey, I've been locked down for a year and a half. I ain't playing games. Right. And you know, it just feels as though you kind of both, both might be in that energy, but there's a very strong connection here that brings you some happiness. All right. And certainly does move you forward. Okay. So, um, but yeah, equal, equal give and take, um, both, both people invested in the relationship, um, equally. All right. And I mean, honestly, um, and it's certainly one, uh, it's certainly an energy with the six of coins. It's also very grounded and very practical as well. There's love. Okay. And there's a lot of compassion and, um, you know, a really strong union and a strong connection, but also one that's really grounded in reality. Okay. Like no head in the clouds kind of thing, right? Not like the seven of cups. It's like, once you figure out what you want, you got, you're on totally on track. You're totally on your path. Um, but certainly grounded in reality and, um, you know, a little bit practical, but also with love that's attached to it too, right? Like, um, not having lofty expectations that can't be met, right? And you're, you're kind of both very much on that same page. So I really do like that. All right. Really do like that. So, uh, I mean, the spirits asked me to leave that there for you. Okay. Um, but I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of, thank you very much of these. Let me just get you one more. I'm going to get you three. All right. And here is your next one. Ah, here we go. And this is, uh, I forget what these are called. Anyways, I'll put it in the comments maybe, but anyways, there's your first card and it says, close your eyes and tell you, tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. All right open your heart. All right. Open your heart. Cause there's always a way to get unstuck. You just got to find it. All right. And then there's your next card. And it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. All right. Now, I think we mentioned earlier that, um, you know, your, you know, um, you and your person, you may be getting not on the same page. You may have realized what is truly important throughout this pandemic. It's not money. It's not fame. It's not celebrity. It's not all of these superficial things. It's things that matters of the heart and the home and the sense of self and all of those, uh, things that are actually free in life. Right. And you know, that's that reminder there from spirit as well. And there's your next card. And it says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. All right. So no matter what your situation is, remember to have some fun. All right. So I'm going to leave that there, Libra. Okay. But I hope there was something in here that uh, gave you uh, that. I hope there was something here that resonated with you that gave you inspiration, guidance, um, a little bit of wisdom. If so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, I truly do hope that you have a fabulous day and an even better month. All right. So, um, and hopefully everything is getting good where you live. Okay. So hopefully that's your case there. All right. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful month and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.